the argument of complex number 1 minus i root 3 upon 1 plus i root 3. So let us consider z is equal to 1 minus i root 3 upon 1 plus i root 3. Let us multiply and divide with its conjugate of denominator. So we can add 1 minus i root 3 upon 1 minus i root 3. So which is equal to 1 minus i root 3 whole square upon a square plus a square minus a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square that is 1 square minus i root 3 whole square in the denominator. So which is equal to by using the formula a minus b whole square in the numerator. So we can add 1 square plus i root 3 whole square minus 2 into 1 into i root 3 upon 1 square is 1 minus i square is minus 1 so it becomes plus root 3 whole square is 3. So which is equal to 1 and i square value minus 1 so minus 3 and again minus 2 root 3 i upon 1 plus 3 that is 4 or we can write minus 2 minus 2 root 3 i upon 4. So which is equal to by taking negative to common we can add 1 plus root 3 i upon 4. So 2 2 times so we had the complex number z is equal to minus 1 by 2 minus root 3 by 2 i. So here we can say that this complex number belongs to third quadrant because x coordinate and y coordinate both are negative. And now the argument he is asking so principal argument let us find first uh, acute angle for z is equal to x plus i y acute angle theta is equal to we can write tan inverse of mod of y by x so here uh, let me take alpha so here alpha is equal to tan inverse of y upon x that is minus root 3 upon 2 divided by minus 1 upon 2 which is equal to tan inverse of tan inverse of root 3 tan inverse of root 3 will be taken pi by 3 that is 60 degrees so alpha is equal to pi by 3 but since we required the argument and it is in the fourth quadrant so we can consider here let's not confuse up with the principal argument and the general argument argument can be taken between 0 to 2 pi the angle and principal argument will be taken minus pi to plus pi so for principal argument we will consider minus pi plus pi by 3 that is minus 3 pi plus pi that is minus 2 pi by 3 will be the answer for principal argument but here argument which is uh, because the options are also not given so we can consider in the third quadrant that is pi plus pi by 3 that is 3 pi plus 1 that is 4 pi by 3 or we can add 4 into pi by 3 is 60 degrees 240 degrees so this is argument of complex number z so 240 degrees which is our fourth option okay please like share subscribe and support us thank you